You always make up something, you know I try to pray for you Even when we're touching, you always make a fuss and Okay, I'm just don't touch my patience I'm trying to pace it You kept me playing, I try to pray for you What's this? Why are you still in this house? She said raising her brow when she saw you while coming blindly inside the mansion as if it belongs to her. What are you doing here? You asked making her scoff as she looked up and then at you. Now you got a voice in your throat. She crossed her arms giving you a mean look. Just because Jungkook married to you out of pity and is nice to you, are you thinking that he is in love with you? You smiled mockingly making her jaw clench. I don't know, maybe. That's why he chose to marry me. She didn't able to control her anger. How dare you? Don't make me do what I don't want to. Just freaking look at you. You are a maid. He used you for his desire. But he's careful around me because I'm precious to him. You didn't say anything and this was enough to make her crazy. Her phone buzzed distracting her as she opened the text and took a glance at you before putting it back inside her purse. I'll deal with you later. And she walked away. You signed and walked in another room. What happened dad and why did you call me here? Mr. Cha picked up the remote and switched on the television. There was a live news about the Commissioner General's assassination, but no one knows who killed him. He found dad in his mansion even after tight security. Yeri looked at her dad. Can it be? Jungkook. He played back us and I think he also know about us. Her brows frowned. Us? Dad? We were just helping the police to caught him. He looked at her and nodded. But he won't spare us. But how did he know? Mr. Cha took out his phone and opened a text message sent from an unknown number. Yeri, it's better if you go and hide somewhere until we finish him. He might also know about you. She got chills inside her body just by hearing it. But what about you, Dad? Don't worry about me, I'll reveal him in media and ask for police security. She nodded. Dad, can we use that maid? I mean, she might be of some help. We can lower him down by using her. I've already ordered my men to kidnap her. If not her, the child inside her womb is definitely precious to him and will make him weak by using things that are closer to him. Jungkook came inside the mansion looking for you. The whole mansion was packed with tight security. He didn't found you anywhere so he went to see you in your room. He saw you sleeping on the bed as you started to feel weak all of a sudden. He got a bit scared when he saw you like that so he quickly ran to you. Why in? Are you okay? You woke up hearing his voice and looked his panicked face. Yes, I just slept for a while. You saw him releasing a long sigh as if he felt so relieved. He hugged you while you were confused. What happened Jungkook? Are you okay? He nodded and broke the hug before cupping your face. Let's go. I'll take you to a safe place before things go worse. You stopped him. You are my safe place Jungkook. He looked at your face. I know that as long as you are with us, nothing can happen to me or our baby. Yes, I'm here for both of you, but right now, I can't take any risk, Wyan. Please try to understand. I only have you and I don't want to take any risk with you. You curbed his face trying to calm him. I won't be able to live there while you'll be away from me. I promise you that I'll take care of myself and our baby. He didn't say anything for a while but then nodded. Flashback In the kitchen after finishing up everything suddenly your palm hit a sharp object and started to bleed. You didn't react as if it didn't hurt a bit. 
your eyes were clearly showing how much they want those tears to release which you were holding back thinking about your horrible life and that now you have to live alone makes you end everything there's so much inside you which you wants to let out but there is no one to give you a shoulder your mother was the only one who never made you feel alone but now she also left you you didn't even cry for her but it won't hide the fact that you broke from inside after she left tears started to fall down because your eyes didn't able to hold them back anymore you sat on a chair and started crying silently Chunko was watching you from upstairs. He stayed there for a while, watching you silently. He was observing how you were trying to hold yourself from crying. He then slowly came down trying not to make any noise. You felt his presence so you quickly wiped your tears and avoided looking at him. He came near you and sat on the same chair beside you. Why don't you cry openly? It's not like someone will see you. He said turning his face towards you while you looked down. What are you afraid of? In fact, when you cry it made you feel good. You again stayed silent. When you left alone in the world and find no one by your side, you need to become strong. You need to learn how to live alone. And if you cry, it didn't make you weak. In fact, it helped you in making stronger your tears started to drop and a sob left from your mouth which you cover quickly he held your head from other side and made you made your head lean on his shoulder while he started to pet your head this made you cry so hard as you covered your face and cried your heart out you didn't cry at your mother's funeral but now you were letting it out thinking about her he you buried your face against his chest and he didn't mind it in fact he hugged you to make you feel comfortable The whole night you both stayed there crying talking about life the day Jungkook's love for you grew up more you were the only one he relate you the most from that day your love story started What are you doing here Yeri's smile faded when she saw her boyfriend looking unhappy to see her here. In fact, he asked her why she is here, which made her feel upset and confused. "Aren't you happy to see me?" He closed the file he is looking at and turned his face at her. She felt weird because he never behaves this way. He got up and walked near her with a smile that was hard to read. "Do you want me to jump out of excitement after seeing you?" She didn't understood why he's talking like that. What happened to you, Jack? Why are you behaving so strange? Am I? Oops, I'm sorry, darling. Actually, I don't know why, but I'm not feeling you familiar now. She came closer to him. What's wrong, Jack? You were not like this before. Jack chuckled and started walking in circles around her. You are right. I was not at all like before because I was a fool. I let a girl like you fool me. What are you talking about Jack? I never did that. He stood in front of her and showed her few pictures in which she was spotted. tends to release herself but it was of no use he started to press her throat tightly as he lost his control over her himself yeri stopped struggling and got unconscious while jack realized it and quickly removed his hands 
He quickly dialed his secretary's number and called him in his apartment. They both took her into the hospital. Police force surrounded Jungkook's house and they broke inside. They searched every corner of the house but didn't find anyone. It was surprising and it didn't took them time to realize that they have been played by Jungkook. They quickly tried to contact the headquarters. You might have forgotten that I have been waiting for this moment from past 8 years of my life. You won't get anything sitting in front of the TV. Mr. Cha's whole body trembled when he heard his voice. He was watching news eagerly waiting for the moment when police announced that Jungkook got arrested or best if he can get killed in an encounter but nothing like that happened. In fact now he is standing in front of him resembling his death. Uh, how did you came here i would have come to you a long ago but i have waited for this moment to come i didn't kill your dad believe me i was not even there yes but you supported the man who killed my father because of you people called him a monster and he got a terrible death you are the one who made it worse I'm sorry Jungkook please forgive me I I promise you I'll confront to the police please don't kill me Jungkook chuckled You were all set to kill me and I thought how powerful you but here what I'm seeing you're begging me for your life your power seems useless Jungkook's eyes turned dark as he pointed his gun towards him while he dropped on his knees Please Jungkook I'm begging you spare my life You bad luck because I'm not the right person to ask for mercy He pulled the trigger and fired all the bullets inside his head Police sirens could be heard as the backup team came to rescue the, so Jungkook jumped down from the window Wine was biting her nails as she was panicked and seems on the verge of crying. Jungkook brought her in his secret hideout because he already knew police will find his mansion soon. He has already planned each and everything and finally end all the murders of his father. Wine was looking at the watch again and again because it's been a whole day and Jungkook didn't come back whereas he promised that he'll come back soon. You were looking out from the window time to time as this house is in a secret place in between the forest which is very hard to search and that's why there's not many cards here. You opened the television and there was chaos everywhere. Suddenly a breaking news came where it was shown that a car has found crashed into an accident. The body of the person found in the car is terribly damaged. Your heart dropped when the picture of that car popped up on the screen. It was Jungkook's car and his phone was also found inside it. Your tears made their way down to your cheeks as you shook your head. No, it can't be true. It's not at all possible. I should not think about it. He's all right. No matter how much you were trying to hold yourself, your body was trembling. The whole media announced that the killer of Commission General and Assemblyman Cha has died. The gun he used to kill all of them was also found with the body found in the car. You dropped on your knees. Hours passed and it was past midnight when the doorbell rang, making your heart drop because at this time you didn't know who it can be. But you didn't hesitate and ran to open the door. You peeked outside from the magnifying glass and your heart cried of joy. You quickly opened the door and hugged Jungkook. He smiled weakly and pulled you more closer in his arms. Why are you crying? You should be happy that I came alive. I was so scared. You said crying terribly while he chuckled. You make weird sounds while crying so stop now. You broke the hug and hit his chest. Ouch, that hurts. Do you know 
how worried I was. You again pulled him into a hug while he smiled and caressed your back. I'm sorry. But then what was all that? The car crashed on your phone? He brought you inside and made you sit on the couch while he sat in front of you in a squatting position. It was all a plan. I just wanted to end everything. But then the body they found inside it? He looked a little hesitant before speaking. It was a man from their gang. You killed him like that? He didn't say anything and looked down. It's okay, now that everything is finished, I don't want you to continue this scary work. Please Jungkook, we'll soon get a new member in our family and I want everything to be normal. Like a very normal family without any fear of losing anyone. Don't worry, I'll leave this work. We'll have the best family in the world. He said bringing tears in his eyes while you hugged him. Yes, we're going to have the best family. One year later. Shanku, can't you stay quiet for some time? I'm trying to put him to sleep. Let me see this naughty boy. It's been three hours since you're with him and still he's not over. He came near you and picked Jung so from the crib. Hey, put him down. He's trying to sleep. Jungkook looked at his son who was looking at him with his big doe eyes. Yeah, are you taking some kind of revenge from me, huh? You always keep my wife busy in you and she don't give time to me. What are you saying? Is this how you talk to your son? He looked at you. Am I saying anything wrong? Whenever I get time to spend with you, either he starts crying or seduces you. I think he doesn't like to see us together. You took Jungsoo from him and gave him a weird look. What's wrong with you today? I also want to spend time with you. You are not only his mother but my wife too. And you are not a kid but a father too. Behave like one. Okay, you go rest and I'll tuck him to sleep. You looked at him for a minute before speaking. Can I trust you? He looked you astonished. Yeah, are you doubting me? We laughed a little and hand him Jungsoo. Okay, but make sure not to make him cry. Yes, ma'am. We chuckled and walked towards your room. Jungkook smiled and looked at his son who was smiling at him. He rubbed his nose with his and kissed his forehead. You naughty boy, I know you purposely do that. Now please sleep so that Appa can spend some time with mom. He put him inside the crib and started humming while swinging it slowly. 